A McKinney mail carrier is being celebrated for doing the right thing when she saw what ended up being $10,000 in cash on the side of the road. It took months for police to figure out who that cash belonged to, but now it is back in the hands of its owner. Fox Force Lori Brown live in McKinney with the story. Hi, Lori. Hi, Clarice. This story first began months ago when Carolyn Norton was on her way to work at the post office when suddenly she saw hundreds of $20 bills flying around the service road to North Central Expressway. It's a lot of money flying in the street. Carolyn Norton, a mail carrier, was on her way to work in McKinney at 640 in the morning, September 5th, when she saw it. I thought it was a dream. It was everywhere. And as the cars was, you know, passing me by, it was just blowing up in the air. That is an odd situation. However, I don't think it's a police matter. I didn't think she understood the magnitude of what I was saying. I didn't want anybody else to get it, you know, if they wasn't going to turn it in. When police arrived, they collected what turned out to be 483 $20 bills, along with other bills that added up to $9,988. It's abandoned property, right? <laughs> By that time, others had spotted the cash as well. You're too honest, man. Keep it. Norton helped to collect $411 before police arrived. I don't know where it came from. It was just flying all over here. Norton says she turned over every dollar. But I will not keep one dime because I will want somebody to do that for me. But no one came forward to claim the money, and it stayed that way until McKinney police reopened the case in December to actively search for the owner. Police had a receipt identifying Anthony Jablonski and worked through database records to find one that linked him to a 1965 Chevrolet Chevelle involved in a crash early that September morning. The tow yard was able to connect police with Jablonski's power of attorney, his pastor, Raymond Bell. I was the first person that he could think of, and they called me, so I went to uh, went to the hospital. Bell says Jablonski is a homeless Vietnam veteran who lived out of his Chevelle. Bell showed us photos of what was left of it after a semi hit him from behind. What's not clear is when that money blew away. Bell says the accident happened several hours before Carolyn Norton found it. It's a miracle that he's alive and then a miracle that Carolyn did what she did. It made my heart happy that they found the person. You're a special lady. This is where I get choked up at. <laughs> In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, thank you. Bell said Jablonski is still recovering from his injuries from the crash, but he's no longer homeless. The 75-year-old is now being cared for in a nursing home. Clarice. That is a wonderful and very special story. Carolyn did a great job. Lori, thank you.